Well, hi everybody, Steve Hansen here, uh, co-founder of the Janitorial Store in MyHouseCleanBiz.com. Uh, just got back from Dallas uh, from meeting a consult, uh, consultant client that I go down there for a couple of days each, each month. And uh, it's funny because I just got on Facebook and I see that there's a post here about, uh, oh, a person had a client claim that they broke a, a couple pieces of their chest set and uh, wants it replaced so they want them to file a claim for their insurance. And my client actually had this just happen uh, when I was down there. They had a, a client claim that they had damaged this, uh, the, this desk and uh, left some white paint marks on the side of it. Um, so I, I'll tell you how we handled it. First of all, you know, uh, you know, we don't know who did it. And uh, when we were talking to the client, you know, and that's what we said that we'll have to do some in, uh, investigating and see what we can find out about this and, and see what happened. Uh, we're not accusing anybody, we're not accusing the cleaners, and we're not accusing anybody in the office of doing this uh, until we can actually get some facts put together. Uh, she said that she wanted to have uh, bring in an expert that would uh, refinish furniture and, uh, and redo this, uh, this side of this desk here. She claims that the cleaners did it when they were vacuuming. Well, we don't know, you know. Um, but anyway, to make a long story short, uh, what we had done is when we seen the damage of it, it was obviously that it was white paint. Uh, the vacuum cleaners that are being used uh, don't have any white paint on them. Uh, from the location of the marks uh, and so on and so forth, there's no way that a vacuum cleaner could have done that. Uh, so we don't know what happened. The cleaners say they don't have a clue. Uh, they don't know how it got there. But what we did is we just took a damp microfiber cloth and wiped those white paint marks off the side of the desk and uh, the desk looked like it was as if it was new so uh, that's what we did there uh, I would suggest that yeah you just contact your insurance company and uh, go ahead and process the claim I always uh, tell my clients to go ahead and collect if they claim you broke a piece a knickknack or whatever it is always collect that get that in your possession um, because now it's yours because you're going to replace it uh, also, that gives you the opportunity to see exactly if there, if you can find that piece uh, locally. Uh, another story that I had is I had I had a client that claimed that we broke this eagle statue uh, that was on their desk while we were dusting, and yes, we did. Uh, she claimed it was eight hundred dollars. Uh, just so happens that I recognized that piece. My my brother actually dealt in those those items, and I recognized the piece. And uh, the piece was only eighty dollars. It wasn't eight hundred dollars. But that was our policy then, is that I took, uh, I took possession of the item, and uh, you know, and I talked to the office manager, and uh, you know, we got this issue solved. Uh, you know, we just replaced it, you know, with an eighty-dollar statuette that was the exact same thing. Uh, we never heard anything else again about that employee of that company. They never made any, ever made any, any other claims about us damaging anything or or anything like that. But anyway, my advice to you is to. Always take the object uh, in possession if you can. Uh, check and see if you can find a replacement. Uh, if not, then just go ahead and go through your insurance uh, agent and go through and file the claim. Uh, you know, things happen. We're all human. Uh, it's been our experience that uh, generally, 95% of the time, 98% of the time, it wasn't the cleaner. It was somebody within the office or it was the homeowner that, that had misplaced something or broke something and is just trying to you know, get something replaced for nothing. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's my two cents on it. Uh, so until next time, keep it clean.